everybody this is Jennifer with choicebackgrounds.com and in this tutorial we're going to have a bit of a math lesson when it comes to creating slideshows with pro show you have to learn a little bit about aspect ratios pixel sizes and video dimensions all of which are constantly changing and ever confusing so let's see what we can do to clear things up a bit first let's talk about aspect ratio when starting a show, you need to decide whether you want your show to be 4x3 or 16x9. Now, most people know that these reflect a square standard TV or a rectangular widescreen TV. But what's the best one for you to choose, and how do you make sure that your photos and videos are the right size? Well, that's a great question. First, let's talk about what each of them mean in pixels with ProShow. Aspect ratio is the ratio of the height and width. For a 4x3 show, the Pro Show dimensions are 800 by 600. If you take yourself back to that fabulous basic algebra you took in high school, you'll remember that you can just drop off the zeros and reduce the first numbers to their lowest denominator. In this case, we're going to cut them in half and you get 4x3. Another example, uh, 1200 by 900 is also 4x3. We're just dividing them in thirds. Remember, this is just the ratio of the height and the width. The number of pixels don't matter. They're both 4 by 3. 16 by 9 dimensions in ProShow are 1024 by 576, which I know sounds incredibly random, but I promise you it's not. This is based on the PAL 16 by 9 dimensions, which don't affect you or your show one little bit. Just remember, 1024 divided by 64 is 16, and 576 divided by 64 is 9, which equals 16 by 9. 1600 by 900 is also 16 by 9, but you'll never see that nice of a round number. You get the picture. Now, HD is another animal uh, that is completely different. You won't find this as an aspect ratio choice because it's not an aspect ratio. Most HD TVs are 16 by 9. But HD is generally 1280 by 720 pixels or 1920 by 1080. And you'll hear those last numbers quite a bit. You'll see them as 1080i or 1080p. The I stands for interlaced and the P stands for progressive. So if you plan to produce an HD video, then make sure you choose 16 by 9 as your aspect ratio. You'll also want to make sure that your files coming into an HD show are large enough for the output size. And I'll get into that in a minute. Just remember, garbage in, garbage out, or good in, good out. Okay, so why would you choose one of these over the other? The first reason is going to be your target audience. 4x3 TV screens are getting really hard to come by. In fact, you'd be pretty hard pressed to even find one being sold in a store today. 16x9 is everywhere. And technology is always changing. Just think back from vinyl records to 8-track to cassette tape to CD, and now we're on MP3 sound files. So it's constantly ever-changing. However, having said that, my husband and I actually do own a few vinyl records and an embarrassingly high number of CDs. So just because everybody now is going to MP3 doesn't mean that you can't find some of those old audio formats. This is also true for TVs. There will be plenty of people out there who do still have an old 4x3 TV set. In fact, I happen to have one in my spare bedroom. Uh, also, depending on if you are creating a show that will be shown, say, at either a memorial or a wedding, there are going to be many churches out there who just simply don't have the thousands of dollars that it would take to upgrade their projectors to the modern 16 by 9. So you have to take that into account too. Where you're going to be showing this at uh, will depend on whether you choose 4 by 3 or 16 by 9. So what happens if you're not sure or if you think it might actually be shown on both? You can play each one of these aspect ratios on the opposite one. You're just going to get a little bit of a different result. For example, if you make a 4x3 show and it gets played on a 16x9 TV, depending on how they have their settings on their TV, you'll just wind up with a perfectly square show with black lines on the outside. Basically, you're stuffing a square into a rectangle. And the opposite is true as well. If you create a 16 by 9 show and someone tries to play that on a 4 by 3 TV, most likely it will be what's called letterboxed, 
which means you'll see a long rectangle show with black lines on the top and the bottom. Basically, you are shoving a rectangle into a square. So choose your aspect ratio uh, accordingly depending on where you think it's going to be shown at and possibly take into consideration the longevity of your show considering that 4x3 is basically going the way of the dodo over the next 10-15 years. So what should you resize your photos to to get the best result? Well depending on how many photos you're using in your show and what size they were taken at you probably don't need to resize them at all. My digital camera is set to take pictures at a bizarre number of 3,456 pixels by 2,304 pixels, which is kind of large for video, but of course, if you're going to print photos out, you want them to be pretty high pixels. Now, as long as I'm not doing a show with like a thousand pictures, I'm probably not going to take the time to resize all of these. ProShow is going to automatically make them either fit or fill my screen, depending on what setting I choose. Now, if you are doing a show that has five, six, eight hundred pictures, you may want to reduce those just to keep your size, your file size of your video down. And I never recommend sizing up. So if your Auntie Gertrude emailed you some photos that are 15 kilobytes in size and 300 pixels wide, just politely tell her that you'd love to use her photos, but they really need to be a larger resolution. If you take that 300 pixel wise photo into Photoshop and stretch it to 1200, it's going to look like garbage. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. You want to start with a nice high resolution photo. Don't start with a small one and stretch it. So you've got your photos, you've chosen your aspect ratio. Now what about adding some video files? What file type, video dimension, file format do I need for those? Well, ProShow accepts all kinds of video file formats. Some integrate seamlessly, others need a little help. For example, if you plan to use MOV files in ProShow, you must have QuickTime installed on your computer. This is because an MOV file is an Apple native uh, file format. Uh, so your Windows computer might need a little help recognizing it. Some of the other file types that ProShow accepts are AVIs, WMVs, MPEGs, and FLVs. Uh, I won't get into the different file types as they're all accepted and it really comes down to a personal preference as to what you're going to use. Now on Choice Backgrounds, we also have a choice between NTSC, PAL, and a ProShow WMV on some of the video files. Skipping all the really boring details about what each of these mean, just remember that if you're in the United States, Canada, Mexico, or any of these other countries listed, you want NTSC. If you are in Europe, Australia, or any of these other countries, you want PAL. So what is ProShow WMV? Well, for as long as I can remember, ProShow has misread 16x9 AVI files as 4x3. It is very frustrating. If you want to use a 16x9 AVI, you have to go into the aspect ratio for that layer and change it from auto, which is reading it as 4x3, to 16x9. This is a pain in the butt. So I started offering WMV files that are rendered with ProShow specifications. These are read perfectly by ProShow. I would not, however, recommend using these files for any other nonlinear editing program, though. So if you're also using Premiere or Final Cut, ULead, or any of the other video editing programs, stick with AVI or MOVs. I won't get into the uh, alpha channels and using masking in ProShow. I do have a separate tutorial if you're interested in learning how to use alpha channels in ProShow to create a video mask. Well, that's the basic breakdown of aspect ratio and video formats. I hope that this has taken some of the mystery and confusion out of those aspect ratios and 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 and HD and all those fabulous numbers that you really just want to forget. Thanks so much for watching and happy pro showing. Thank you.